Howdy y'all, this is Tony with Lone Star Coops and today we're going to be talking about predator proofing your coop and how to use a predator apron to deter large digging predators. Lone Star Coops. Larger predators are frequently going to gain access to your chickens by digging underneath your coop walls. These would typically be something like a neighborhood dog, a coyote, a fox, or possibly a raccoon or possum. These digging predators are going to try and enter your coop right where the ground meets the baseboard of the coop. So this is the area that we need to focus on. It's important for you to research what type of predators might be in your area. Almost everywhere has raccoons and dogs. Some areas have foxes and coyotes. Others have weasels, mink, and martens. Knowing the predators in your local area will help you devise a plan to keep your chickens safe. There are a lot of options for protecting the foundation of your coop. Some are more time and labor intensive than others. Whichever method you choose, the important thing is not to neglect this very important step for protecting your chickens. What we're going to be covering here today is a no-dig method of protecting your coop by extending a predator apron approximately three feet out from the perimeter of your coop at ground level. We use a welded wire product with a two inch by three inch mesh size because we don't have any small predators in our area. If you're in a location with a lot of weasels, mink, or marten, you might wanna go with something that has a tighter mesh size. Your digging predators are typically going to be pretty strong, which is why we recommend a 14 or 16 gauge thickness welded wire over something like hardware cloth, which is very thin, typically only at 19 or 23 gauge. Another nice thing about the welded wire product is a 50 foot roll with a 3 foot width will typically run 38 to $50 which is more than enough to cover your typical 6 foot by 12 foot coop perimeter. You can select a standard galvanized product or the PVC covered if you want a little extra protection for the metal. Installing this style predator apron is as easy as cutting it to the length of each side of your coop and laying it on the ground. One thing you want to do is make sure you leave these fingers on the end of each piece and have them slightly extend past the end of your coop. We're going to lay out the second piece here and then I'll show you how we join these together using those fingers that we left. Now that we have the four sides laid down on the ground, we're just going to go to where each piece matches up with the other one and use our hands to bend the fingers around so that we're kind of weaving the pieces together. Weaving each piece together like this gives you a very durable, safe three foot perimeter around the outside of your coop. If you have a pneumatic stapler, that's the easiest way to attach the Predator apron to your coop. But for those of you that don't have that, you can easily use these three quarter inch poultry staples that are available in the nail aisle of Home Depot or Lowe's and a hammer. These will work just fine. Whichever method that you use, you want to go about every four inches and attach a staple from the wire into the exterior perimeter of your coop. Once you have those staples securely fastening the wire to the outer perimeter of your coop, you can finish off with some lawn staples to hold down the welded wire into the grass or dirt. 
This is an optional step, but it does kind of help hold down those outer edges of your welded wire. After that is done, you can either leave it as is and let the grass grow up through it. You could also overfill it with a little bit of dirt. And uh, what we like to do is put a, maybe about a half inch of dirt and then some wood chips on top of it. It's really up to you and what fits your local area. There are a lot of different ways that predators will get at your chickens and we will be covering ways to prevent each one of them in our predator prevention series. So please check back for our other videos. I hope that you found this video on the easy way to do a predator apron helpful and that you can use it on your coop to protect your chickens. If you're having a particular issue, drop us a comment below and let us know about it. Don't forget to like the video and please hit that subscribe button if you're not already a regular subscriber to our videos. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in building a predator resistant coop like this, we do have plans available for a modest fee at LoneStarCoops.com.